Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be updating a uh, tutorial that I basically made a while ago but uh, we had some limitations to what we could do and um, I wasn't fully uh, uh, skilled in the GUI and stuff like that. So what I was able to do and figure out recently was um, update the drill mechanic or drill machine mechanics. So it uses fuel now. So if we were to go and place this down like that and it now has a GUI screen so we can easily turn it on and put our fuel in. Uh, so if we do that and we can grab some coal and we'll put uh, the coal in the actual fuel slot, turn it on, the block will turn on, and it will start mining. So, um, yeah, and it'll go as far as the block um, can provide fuel. So uh, what's basically going on right now is it takes uh, a a piece of coal out when it needs to charge up again. Uh, if it doesn't need to charge up, it won't, um, but it will remove one coal. Uh, coal takes about, uh, allows you to do dig about uh, eight blocks or so. So um, other things like lava bucket will allow you to do more and stuff like that. But uh, and if you want to turn it off, if we go to game mode, uh, survival, I have it. So you can just uh, punch the block and start to destroy it and it'll turn it off. Um, yeah, so so we'll take a quick look at the, the code. And uh, first things first, let's look at the off block. And uh, we have a custom model. We've set the rotation. A lot of this stuff is, uh, a lot of the settings and stuff are from the first version that I made. So all these other things are the same. Um, and uh, we don't have an update tick or a tick update. Um, we have the reaction to being pushed to block so it doesn't get pushed. And we have enabled the GUI for right-clicking to open up the GUI. We've uh, set our GUI and we also need MBT data. Uh, our amount of slots that we need is one and we both have these two checked. Our uh, input slot is also zero. So moving on, uh, there is no procedures for this particular block. So, um, We'll just continue and then there is no generation. So going to the GUI, uh, this is the GUI that I created. And if we go to uh, the on button, it basically um, has the drill machine on button which is a procedure that we created right here, which is basically just replacing the block and updating the MBT um, inventory and keeping the original state or direction. So we're just turning it to the on machine. So with the on machine, what happens is um, it's basically the exact same properties. We have a on digging machine model so we can do the animations and stuff. And then we've set the block to being destroyed as the off state. And uh, the rest of it's pretty much the same. We have given the tick rate to 20. Uh, this controls, I believe, the speed of how fast it goes, so this will update every second. Um, going down here, we also have it to block uh, when being pushed by a piston. Uh, we also want to inherit the same GUI as well as the um, enable the GUI for right click. And we also need to set the block to have MBT data as well as uh, the same inventory um, information. So this time I've disabled these two, but uh, I have it. So um, there's only one slot and slot zero is the um, 
input slot. So carrying on, we have all our procedures. Um, the update tick uh, holds all the information for basically when it moves. So in here, you'll first find the condition of um, if the uh, entity has equal to or less than zero fuel, then what it's going to do is try to check to see what kind of slot um, items in a slot. If there is no item, then it's just going to replace the block to um, the off state. So this is basically going to be checking to see if there is fuel in the slot. If there is, then it's going to remove the item one item from that slot and then it's going to set the appropriate fuel to that item. or to. The so if you scroll down uh, to the coal, as you can see there is, um, we're get setting the, the fuel, we're getting the fuel, uh, current fuel, and then we're adding the number which we want it to mine. So um, a piece of coal can generally smelt eight items. So I decided to use that same uh, logic to basically uh, have it to only mine eight times. So that's how I'm basically judging on how many uh, blocks it can mine is it's based on this number here. Uh, scrolling down, if uh, the block does have uh, fuel, then what it's going to do is it's going to call the script, which is see if I can remember which one it is. This one right here. Uh, now, as you saw before, there was a little bit of an issue with the um, the position of where the uh, block was getting offset. I'm not sure why it was doing that. Uh, I'll have to look into it a little bit more, but I'll try to get that fixed before um, I update the, the the project page, but it has something to do with this particular file in here, probably one of these two directions. But what this is doing is it's just going to remove the block and then set the block location where it's going to be dropping it at. And it's testing for every rotation the block is facing and a drop, drop dropping it appropriately. So that's basically the script that it's running in uh, right here. And then what it's going to be doing is it's going to uh, set the drill fuel, which we've basically calculated up here. And then we're going to um, basically subtract one. So we're basically setting the, um, the drill fuel, uh, subtracting or getting the drill fuel and then subtracting one and then what we're doing is we're testing for the direction of which the block is basically facing and then with that we're going to be um, setting the or placing a block which uh, is in that direction that it needs to go in that direction so if it's north then it's going to be placing at negative zero which is forward towards north and then it's going to be setting the direction of that block as well and then finally, we're just uh, getting the, we're sending the current block of um, the, the block that we just placed, so Z negative one, and then we're getting the current fuel state of what the block we haven't removed yet. And then we're basically setting it to that same thing. So we're basically getting the fuel value from the current block that we have that just mined and then we're basically inheriting it into the new block that we just placed. Then what we're doing is we're uh, getting number of items in, um, or no, we're setting the set uh, current number of items. So this is basically um, getting the item number count in the current, uh, the block that we just mined the blocks with and not the one that we placed and then we're getting the count of the items here and then we're getting the type of item here and then what we're doing is we're setting that uh, same values to the new block that we just placed and then finally we're just removing the block itself and for every um, rotation uh, for that particular block so that's basically what's happening every update tick which is 
controlled again through the tick rate uh, rate rate here. So uh, this is, it happens every second. You can change this to a lower number to speed it up. So going back here, uh, when player uh, destroy or when block destroyed by player, uh, I have it to um, repeat the same amount of times as the um, as how many items are in that particular blocks inventory and then we're just basically spawning the gem which we're getting the block from the or the uh, item from the current inventory as well for the block that is destroyed and then we're just spawning that item uh, the proper amount of time so it drops the item from the inventory so you could do this with other inventories and it would work the same way as well um, and I think think is that yeah that's also used when destroyed with explosion so it's the same procedure and then when player starts to destroy this is where we are basically turning the block state off so we're basically keeping the rotation and we're setting the MBT um, inventory to the same inventory as well and we're just replacing it with the off state and um, yeah, that's all there is to that particular code and that's it. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.